What up traders, what up investors, how are you guys doing today? Thank you for tuning in here. We're gonna be looking at Amazon. We have a very crazy particular trade for someone that is putting out a basically 221 contracts uh, that are expiring this Friday, the 26th of June uh, for the call strike of uh, 2690 or 2690 uh, price target. That being said, yes, that is already in the money uh, if that we can look in the, what exactly uh, that means for folks if they don't quite understand that if you're someone new to the options market uh, but basically indication that someone is betting for uh, getting into Amazon uh, and uh, continually going higher normally if you're buying options very very short dated like this uh, you're looking to potentially own it uh, some stock into Amazon or you're looking for a quick uh, rise up with the next two or three days if you're buying pretty deep in the money anything over like uh, 0.7 to uh, 0.9 Delta you're looking to buy in the money so again going through the trade tab here we see here that this exit this call uh, option was executed exactly a little after 10 o'clock for the price of 60 or six thousand dollars a contract um, of course, uh, 6,000 a contract at $221. We can create a duplicate. It's like $1.32 uh, million. Currently, that is sitting around 1.7 because uh, the current options is trading around anywhere from 77 to 80. So we can go in here and go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh. All right, 26, uh, yeah, right here. The 26, uh, 90 here, that's the, the call price here. here. And you can see it fluctuating quite a bit, but again, that's already nearly uh, 15 to 16 hundred dollars per gain per contract. So yeah, that's up, up half a million dollars within pff, an hour-ish. Even though, even since uh, Amazon has dropped just slightly over the last couple minutes, but we're going to be looking in here here in a second is the uh, potential movement that we can see here in Amazon uh, going into uh, Friday, which would be the 29th. There we go. So what we have here is the box of the potential movement of Amazon going from the high to low, potentially what the options market is looking at. So that being said, what does that mean? How do I get those numbers, Ken? That's quite simple here. You just go to the options chain here on Thinkorswim or most trading platforms, and you see the plus or minus uh, uh, seventy uh, dollars here. Some other platforms might be a little bit uh, different. For example, uh, my Thinkorswim is calculating a little bit different. We're seeing plus or minus sixty. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more uh, relating to the uh, Think or Swim, I mean the, the Tasty Works uh, side of things. Uh, I think the, the Think or Swim is a little bit more conservative uh, and just gives a little further dynamic uh, within that. So we can look at the chart again. That's what we kind of did here. We kind of get did in between. We did like $65 plus or minus um, for that options range for of course, today's Tuesday until the next uh, three trading days into Friday. So this move could be, again, this trade could be very, very short term. We're indicating for like short term, meaning less than an hour, 15, 20 minutes. But we could still see that if we go to the options chain, that number has not uh, changed for that particular, uh, the volume and the open interest has actually not gone down. It actually has gone up and more people um, are actually buying into this uh particular contract here. Um, as you can see, the open interest is around 902 and the current volume that's been traded has been 418 today. Um, so if we start seeing the open interest uh, drop, again, it could it's not going to be unloading at one, one time, who knows, uh, could be skimming off uh, 25 to 30 contracts when he meets certain price targets. So what do you do with being up nearly uh, half a million dollars in an hour on a million dollar bet-ish? Yeah, you look at the charts here. So since this is a larger uh, or smaller time frame we're looking at here, um, how I got this number of the 27779 could be the first indication where we could end up 
uh, for the week, what I'm looking at currently. Yeah, that's not substantially higher where we're currently at. It's up $25-ish, uh, depending on if you're looking at the top of the tick or where we're trading at right now. Uh, looking for uh, this price target, this is how I got this, was a very short-term Fibonacci uh, retracement. So we do from the previous swing high, which was the 10th, uh, and then we do the tool here and then the previous swing low which was the 12th and that lines up with the 1272 uh, extension um, for a potential initial first price target because we again we're hitting we hit an all-time high just today so this momentum is going to be going off the charts lack of better words because we see the RSI uh, getting very highly elevated to nearly the 680 uh, if it hits the 80 plus we start get, seeing that indication of overbought um, good example would be right here when you kind of get that 80 plus that doesn't mean it's going to come crashing down uh, normally it can it can do three things like any stock can do it can go up sideways or down majority of times depending if the overall markets continue going higher and the other indicators lure to that it's usually just would be trading sideways and kind of waiting for those moving averages to kind of catch up because we, we're currently seeing uh, it's quite a ways away from its one uh, or it's, its five exponential moving average here and of course you see the eight here Again, this is a beautiful looking chart because we have the 5, 8, 21, uh, 34, 50, and then the 200. Uh, just super nicely stacked and just very aggressive. Again, if you're speaking of, of Amazon fundamentally, I'm pretty sure everyone knows they have a uh, barrier on so many different things. And uh, especially with the overall virus and everything, they, they're they just getting even stronger from every, all this uh lack of competition and just being the best of the best on being able to get things done um, looking back a little bit we we're really seeing the first initial support levels being really close to the 21 exponential moving average that being said we can see uh, that it's come down to the 21 a little bit uh, here and there for the last uh, two months so potentially the very short term uh, the first line of support is going to basically be the edge of this box here it's going to be around 2688 uh, between that and then the 8 uh, EMA was 2670 uh, but really uh, on the daily side of the chart if things start falling apart and the wheels are coming off and the uh, the bus is just going to crash is looking for 2575 potentially for a very first strong line of support on the daily chart uh, I usually don't use the 5 and 8 exponential moving average to kind of gauge uh, for on the daily side of things because again the particular trader who put on this bet uh, is looking for a very short term uh, gain so we can kind of dive this down into a much lower chart so maybe like even on a uh, an hourly chart over 20 days and you can kind of see this picture kind of come into fruition a little bit more um, this thing has been trading so extremely well the past couple weeks the last couple days this last week or so it's been holding the 21 here very well so if you're looking here on the hourly chart, which I normally don't do, um, the first line of support really would be around that 21. So it'd be around 27.14. That's again, if you're trading on the hourly chart or a lower time frame on that sense. Um, we are seeing a couple of readings of the RSI being over 80 on the hourly chart. I don't put too much gauge into that because it's an hourly chart, so it can be heavily uh, I don't want to say the word manipulated, but it can be heavily skewed in certain directions. Um, I always kind of bring back the core to the daily chart. Um, we can also look at a, a weekly chart, and this thing tells a really uh, amazing picture here uh, with, again, hitting that all-time high today. We kind of see the somewhat of the same pattern, even with it just completely skyrocketing higher. Uh, it's getting very close. It's, it's at 78.6627 on RSI. But the check of money flow is kind of black because that's usually a lot of the larger funds and investment uh, operations and hedge funds buying into it. But we're seeing a springboard of momentum. You can see it here on the chart here and on the chart here with the RSI climbing higher. But on the weekly side, we are could be potentially hitting again that RSI red where it turns red. But again, that can just continue riding higher. So. It is somewhat extended from the five and eight exponential moving average, even on the weekly side. 
But with these circumstances that we're currently dealing with the economy and the overall pandemic of things, it's just going to be most likely going to take a small little break up here and just kind of trade sideways for a little bit and kind of wait for these moving averages to kind of catch up because this has been on a tear ever since its last quarter and just continue to climb higher. Um, even before its quarter, it had a pretty large run up in the expectation of it dominating every single uh, metric, even though they came out with a loss in the sense of investing a lot of money due to the pandemic. So that being said, this is going to be a very uh, interesting stock to watch in the short term, long term, and Oh, quite some ways. I kind of want to show you the the monthly side. So this is at 20 years of Amazon. Imagine buying Amazon at five dollars in 2001. Five dollars. <laughs> That'd be yeah. But you had to hold through all of this, all of this. Like that's that, that's what's that's a lot of people don't have the fortitude to be able to invest in that long run. That's why they. Uh, rely on options on doing some more shorter dated stuff and selling premium things like that um, just depends on what your cup of tea is for trading you can make money uh, in different various ways um, it's just it's up to you and what your personality is and what you feel comfortable with um, within your investment portfolio and your basically your in your inner soul Guys, I, hopefully this was informative. If you learned something, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we're probably going to be doing a live stream tomorrow or the next day. Um, and then more videos will be coming out as well uh, regarding different tickers and stock symbols there. Uh, thank you again for uh, tuning in. Uh, if you want to go ahead and look in the description box down below, we have a pretty awesome... I'm just going to say just come join and we can kind of show you the fun stuff that we're doing here at Discord. Completely free. Uh, see, see Jake down here uh, putting a ticker or a alert out for at 1040 that Amazon had an all-time high. Good for you, my friend. Call out. A shout out to you. Um, we also have a Patreon page if you're interested in supporting the channel directly there as well in the description. And if you're interested in getting into some more options stuff, definitely to ch check out Tastyworks, which is a great platform that I use. Um, and it's a referral link down below as well. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Ken from the Dyslexic Investor, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.